when a solid object moves in water or in the atmosphere, it produces shock wave, energy which is not always visible or convertible. The general principle of the shock wave is that the greater the volume and speed of the moving element are, the stronger the produced wave is. If a solid object moves in a closed space, such as the train in a tunnel, the stronger its produced shock wave is. Airplanes, ships, cars, trains, particularly when moving through a tunnel, as the metro, produce artificial energy. Therefore, man's activities produce shock wave energy, which has been remained unexploited so far. This gap will be filled by the invention of mechanical engineer Chris Vuros, who has been chasing the wind since 1977. To confirm the above findings, the produced energy instruments have been installed in highways where the natural wind is also added, and in metro tunnels with the following results – highway and metro tunnel. Based on this data, the shockwave electroturbine was designed in order to work horizontally or vertically, turning the shockwave and natural wind where there is into electricity. In high ways, the shock wave electroturbine can work as position of directional or advertising signs and as an autonomous lighting column or interconnected to the electricity grid. The shock wave electroturbine can also be installed horizontally in building roofs in the position of the railing protection, tearing the natural wind into the electricity energy, thus covering the needs of the building. With a little more imagination, the shockwave electroturbine can be used in countless applications. International patent by Winsoll.